Welcome to English Mastery. To learn English to communicate fluently, it takes us at least 21 days to form a new habit and 30 days to form a really strong habit. Let's create good habits with John by learning English conversation in 30 days. Dialogue 1. Introduce yourself. Hi there, I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you. Hi, Rachel. I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you, too. So, Sophie, what do you do for a living? I'm a graphic designer. I work for a small agency. How about you? That's cool. I'm a teacher. I teach high school English. That sounds rewarding. How long have you been teaching? For about five years now. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. It's creative and fun. What do you like about teaching? I love helping students learn and grow. It's very fulfilling. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I enjoy painting and hiking. How about you? I love reading and gardening. Do you have any favorite books? I enjoy mysteries and thrillers. Do you have a favorite genre? I like historical fiction. It's fascinating to learn about the past. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. How about you? I'm from New York. What brought you to this city? I moved here for work a couple of years ago. How long have you been here? I've been here for three years. Do you like it here? Yes, it's a great city with lots to do. Do you miss New York? Sometimes, but I've grown to love it here too. Do you have any family here? No, my family is still in Boston. What about you? My family is back in New York. Do you visit them often? I try to visit a few times a year. Do you get to visit your family? Yes, I visit during holidays and vacations. It's always nice to go back. Definitely. It was great getting to know you, Rachel. You too, Sophie. Let's keep in touch. Absolutely. See you soon. See you. Dialogue 2. Neighbor Good morning, Sarah. Morning, John. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Lovely weather today, isn't it? Absolutely. It's perfect for a morning walk. I agree.
Do you often go for walks in the morning? Yes, almost every day. It's a great way to start the day. Do you? Sometimes when I have time before work, it really helps clear my mind. It does. Are you working from home today? Yes, I am. I have a few meetings in the afternoon, but it's a bit quieter this morning. That sounds nice. I'm heading to the office today. It's going to be a busy day. I can imagine. Do you have a lot of projects on your plate? Yes, we're launching a new project next month, so there's a lot to prepare. That sounds exciting but challenging. It is. What about you? Any big plans for the weekend? Not really. Just planning to relax and maybe catch up on some reading. How about you? We might take a short trip to the countryside. Need a break from the city. That sounds wonderful. The countryside is so peaceful. Yes, it is. Well, I should get going. Don't want to be late for work. Of course. Have a great day, John. You too, Sarah. Take care. Thanks. See you around. See you. Dialogue 3. Friends. Hi, Emily. Long time no see. Hi, Alice. It's been a while. How have you been? I've been good, just busy with work. How about you? Same here. Work has been hectic lately. How's your job going? It's going well, but there's always so much to do. How's everything with your family? Everyone's doing fine. The kids are growing up so fast. How's your family? They're good. My husband's been busy with his new project, but we manage. How are your kids? They're great. My daughter started school this year, and she loves it. That's wonderful to hear. How's she adjusting? She's doing well. She made a lot of friends. How's your son? He's good. He just started playing soccer, and he's really into it. That's fantastic. Kids and their activities keep us on our toes, don't they? Absolutely. How's work for you? Any new projects? Yes, we're starting a new campaign next month. It's exciting, but a lot of work. Sounds intense. I've got a new project too, and it's been quite demanding. Balancing work and family can be tough sometimes. 
definitely. Do you have any tips? I try to keep a strict schedule and make time for myself whenever I can. That's good advice. I should try that. It helps. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Just spending time with the family. Maybe a little bit of work, too. You? Same here. A bit of relaxation and catching up on some work. Sounds like a plan. It was great catching up with you, Emily. You too, Alice. Let's do this more often. Definitely. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Dialogue. Four. At the supermarket. Me. Can you help me? Of course. How can I assist you? I'm looking for fresh vegetables. Where can I find them? The fresh vegetables are in aisle five near the dairy section. Great, thanks. What about fresh fruits? Fresh fruits are right next to the vegetables, also in aisle five. Perfect. Do you have organic options? Yes, we do. The organic fruits and vegetables are on the left side of the same aisle. That's good to know. And where is the fresh meat section? Fresh meat is in aisle 8, near the back of the store. Is there a section for fresh seafood? Yes, the seafood section is next to the meat section, also in aisle 8. Thank you. Are there any special offers on fresh food today? Yes, we have a discount on organic produce and fresh fish today. That sounds great. I'll check it out. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a nice day. You too. Dialogue. Five. At the clothing store. Hi. Welcome to our store. How can I assist you today? Hi. I'm looking for a new outfit for a party this weekend. Great. What kind of party is it? It's a semi-formal event. I want something stylish but comfortable. I see. How about this dress? It's elegant and perfect for semi-formal events. I like the style. Do you have it in a different color? 
Yes, we have it in red, black, and navy blue. Which color do you prefer? I think I'll go with the navy blue. Can I try it on? Of course. The fitting rooms are right over there. Thank you. I'll be right back. It fits perfectly. I love it. It looks great on you. Do you need anything else? Actually, do you have any accessories to go with this dress? Yes, we have some beautiful necklaces and earrings. Let me show you. That would be wonderful, thank you. Here are a few options. This necklace would complement the dress nicely. It's lovely. I'll take the dress and the necklace. Perfect choice. Let me ring that up for you. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a great time at the party. Dialogue. Six. On the street. Excuse me, can you help me? Of course. What do you need? I'm trying to get to the Eiffel Tower. Can you tell me which bus to take? Sure, you need to take bus 42. It stops near the Eiffel Tower. Where can I catch bus 42? There's a bus stop just around the corner. Go straight, then turn left. You'll see the bus stop. How long does the bus ride take? It should take about 20 minutes, depending on traffic. Thank you. Do I need a ticket beforehand? Yes, you can buy a ticket at the kiosk near the bus stop. Great. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Enjoy your visit to the Eiffel Tower. I will. Thanks again. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Dialogue 7. Job. Mom, why did you become an English teacher? I love teaching and helping people learn. English is important. And I enjoy sharing it with others. What does a doctor do? A doctor helps people when they are sick or hurt. They find out what's wrong and make them better. What about a pilot? What do they do? A pilot flies airplanes. They take people to different places safely. And a barber? What does a barber do? A barber cuts and styles people's hair to make them look nice.
Dialogue 8. What time is it? What time is it now? It's 9.30 a.m., sir. What time is our meeting? The meeting is at 10 dinner a.m. What's our schedule for today? After the meeting, you have a conference call at 11.30 a.m., lunch with Mr. Smith at 1 hour p.m., then a presentation review at 3 hour p.m. Anything else? Yes, a quick meeting with the marketing team at 4.30 p.m. and a dinner appointment at 7 hour p.m. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. How do you see the above lesson? Have you learned it yet? Remember, no matter what, never give up. See you in the next videos.